of the clothing on my back, the shoes on my feet, or a majority of the food on my table. <coughs> yes, I understand that the oil and gas industry is not exactly all butterflies and rainbows, but it's not as evil and as corrupt as everybody is saying. All of today's modern luxuries that we have are a result of the oil and gas industry. Without that, we would not have most of our clothing. Our shoes would go back to being leather or wood only without nice rubber soles that everybody is so accustomed to wearing. And really, where would we be without elastic? Could you imagine having to go out and get those lovely suspenders to keep your socks up so they're not down around your ankle? If anybody has ever seen that before, <laughs> I'd say you walk by aren't you cooperating? I see that way. Oil and gas products have been in use for well over 300 years. There is no actual recorded date on when they started. But in 1719, Cree traders started taking tar to the Hudson Bay Trading Company. They used the tar as waterproofing for their clothing and their canoes especially, and their tents. They discovered that when mixing it with cedar and pine flasks, that it created a long-lasting water-resistant material. Back then, there was only very limited uses for it because they couldn't refine it. But even 300 years ago, before electricity and technology, oil and gas was a very important part of our lives. It's more than just transportation and fuel for our vehicles. Only a less than half of the oil and gas that is produced is actually used for gasoline. Most of it is for our luxury items. Unless you are buying products that are made from bioplastics or biodiesels, then you are contributing to the need for oil and gas. And you, in some way, are supporting it as well. It's only 19 points. In a barrel of gas, there's 42 US gallons. Out of that barrel, this 19.6 gallons is used to produce your gasoline to fuel your vehicles. So I said less than half. But there's 10 gallons of that is used to go into diesel and heating. It's the gas that, unless you have natural gas-powered heat for your house, and I know many people still run off oil. 1.6 or 1.7 gallons is used for the heavy oil, which is for your tankers across the ocean to get a lot of, again, our luxury products from China and Japan as a result of that. But 7.6 gallons for every barrel goes into making products that we use every day that are completely not fuel related. But just some of the products, for example, clothing, bottles, gloves, your TVs, pill casings, airplanes, something you would never think would actually be a product from the oil and gas industry. How many people here have a plastic water bottle today? Out of all of those people, how many people have a bioplastic water bottle? <laughs> what is bioplastic? Bioplastic is plastic made from plant materials instead of petrochemicals. Since yeah. nobody has raised their hand, I'm willing to say, even though many of you guys may be against what they're doing, you seem to be supporting the oil and gas industry just fine. <laughs> yeah. So are those ones the ones with the green leaf on them? It's the green leaf. Okay. The ones that are bioplastic, yeah. Synthetic rubber is another product that comes from there. Our car tires and shoe soles are very rarely pure rubber. Pure rubber has become a very expensive, <coughs> low demand product. It's four times more likely that it's your way of synthetic rubber. We like our shoes. Rubber trees could produce limited amounts, oil fields are much more common. Synthetic materials are another one. Polyester, nylon. Without the oil industry, we would not have any of those materials. And so, no carpet, and, well, could you imagine underwear without the elastic strap? Really? Yeah. <laughs> Less products that you might not think would have this is your makeups. Any of the oils, waxes, perfumes, colors, unless you buy organic, all natural, they come from the petrochemical industry. All your dyes, for anybody that dyes their hair, unless you're using bleach, Chlorine bleach to bleach your hair. You are using petrochemicals. A lot of dyes are actually from organic chemistry going down to carbon trees. Candles, raw petroleum products, unless you're using 100% beeswax, 
they are raw petroleum byproducts. So the government is not that the industry is that bad. Over the last, since 1990, we have reduced emissions on average 39% per barrel. The problem is that we keep on using more and more. Our population grows, we need more. <coughs> it's not that the industry is that bad, it's just our wants and needs are just too great. North America is the only place with mandatory regulations on the emissions output that these chemical plants can produce. So I personally am unwilling to give up the clothing on my back, the shoes on my feet, or the food on my table. I don't know about the rest of you guys, but the next time you go to say how bad the oil field is, stop and think about what you're willing to give up. Thank you.